guys, a lot of you have been asking me about P90X and Sanity and all those other workouts that you see in infomercials. I'm gonna address those when we come back. Alright, thanks for tuning in to Livelyn TV. I'm your host Brad Guthrie and on this episode of Freestyle Friday, I'm taking your request. I'm talking about P90X. That's right, you guys have asked me over and over again, what do I think of this program? There's so much hype around it, you see it on the late night infomercials. Is this a program that you guys should be doing? Well, I'm gonna talk about that. But first of all, up front, I have never done this program before. So I may not be the best person to talk about it, but I do have the program. The program was sent to me to look over, and I tell you what, I went through it, and it looks tough. It honestly looks tough. So first question that you guys have to kind of ask yourself, are you ready for this intense of a program? And they actually have a fit test in here that they say right up front that if you can't do this fit test and you don't pass it, you're not ready for the program. So I'll quickly run through some of the standards. Pull-ups, there's a lot of pull-ups in this program. So if you're a male, if you can't do three pull-ups, you're not ready for the program. If you're female and you can't do one pull-up, the program may be too advanced for you. Another one is push-ups. We talk about males doing at least 15 push-ups and females doing at least three push-ups or 15 push-ups from your knees. And then there's the wall squat where you go against a wall, you squat down so your knees are at 90 degrees. You should be able to hold the wall squat for at least one minute. And then we have bicep curls which says males should be able to do 10 curls with 20 pound weights and females should be able to do 10 curls at 8 pounds. There's a few other ones in there but those are the main ones for the fit test. If you feel like you can't hit those numbers, then this program may be a little too advanced for you because this is an intense program. I've seen people do this program. But is it right for you? Even if you can pass this fit test, is this a program that you should be doing? Well, it really depends on what your goals are. If you're an ectomorph and your goal is to add more muscle mass, this program may not be for you. I would get you into the gym. I'd get you lifting heavier weights with good form. This program is more about muscle endurance. It's about going for time. It's about really burning calories. But if you're looking to add muscle mass, it's not about burning calories, it's about overloading your muscle with heavier weight. So, you know, with that said, it really depends on your goals if P90X is right for you. Because I keep telling people, you have to commit to a program. You have to stick by its guidelines. Just a quick review of the P90X program. I'm not an expert on it because I've never been done it through it myself, even though when people see me at the gym, they think that I'm a P90X guy because I'm moving quickly from exercise to exercise and circuit format training. I just love to keep my heart rate going. I love to sweat at the gym. Hopefully that helped you out with the P90X program. Is it right for you? Does it fit your goals? Can you actually do it? So I'm Brad Gaffer, you're watching Live Lean TV. Please click that like button below. Share and subscribe to these videos if you haven't already or any other comments that you may have. We're gonna be back on Monday with another cooking show. Hopefully you guys have an incredible weekend. <laughs>